Hello, this is Natalia Bilbao for the Rideshare Hub. This is a channel where you can find a lot of tips on being a better Lyft and Uber driver. If you're not a Lyft and Uber driver yet, but you are considering being one, you can get a sign-in bonus by clicking on the link in the description. Also, you can like, comment on these videos to make them better, get recommendations, and you know improve this channel, which is what we're after. So, today I am going to talk about um, some safety tips for females. I talked about this in a previous video, but I'm gonna be more elaborate this time and offer some more tips that I offer to other fellow female Lyft and Uber drivers. So the first tip is to make sure that you always let someone know where and when you're gonna be driving. This is important because even though the app tracks where you are, it's always good to have someone else be aware of where you're gonna be at all times, okay? So that you can relax and then drive, which is why you're being an Uber and Lyft driver. My second tip uh, regarding safety is to always carry either a pepper spray or a taser with you because it's gonna make you feel so much more comfortable when you're driving around and you know that sometimes you're bound to have customers that are not um, let's say very elegant looking so it's gonna make you feel comfortable you're not gonna be on edge all the time and stressed out because you have that with you so that if for whatever reason someone starts behaving in a weird way or they just plain attack you you can just you know, defend yourself, which is what this is all about. Tip number three for being safe as an Uber and Lyft driver being a female, you can buy a dash camera. This is a $20 camera that you can put in your car and which basically records everything that's going on inside your car so that you can have, you know, complete peace of mind in the sense that everything is being recording. It's like, smile, you're on camera, same thing, but inside your car. It's basically 20 bucks on Amazon, so it's not that expensive. Um, if you don't have the money to buy it, you can always use your phone and just press record whenever you send there's something weird going on so yeah make sure that you have some like footage so you have proof if something wrong or weird goes on you have footage of what happened you can actually submit that to the cops or any person who is in charge of you know the investigation if something were to happen to you but guys like you know this is just for people who are very like concerned about their safety and you have to be concerned but you know I believe that it's a safe thing to drive around in an Uber and a Lyft, but you know, just be wary of certain areas or certain times when you know you might feel more uncomfortable. Hence, why I'm suggesting that you get a dash camera or just use your phone to film. All right, so tip number four regarding safety for female Uber and Lyft drivers. This is a funny one. Um, it's not a logical or rational thing because it's very much people sense danger in different ways. Let's put it that way. So sometimes you meet someone and you're like, this person doesn't seem trustworthy. And you can't really say what it is about them that throws you off, but they just, for some reason, don't seem trustworthy. So my advice is follow your gut instinct. So when you pull over and you're going to pick a customer and they don't seem friendly or you sense something weird about them or you're just sensing some you know fear inside you for whatever reason just don't don't avoid um following your gut instinct don't be like oh yeah i'll be fine i'm just being over paranoid no 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 follow your gut instinct if for whatever reason you're supposed to be picking a customer and you look at them and they don't seem you know uncreepy enough for you to drive them around then just keep driving do not put your life and your safety at risk because you want to comply with, oh, I need to pick up this customer. Safety comes first, girls. First and foremost, make sure that you are safe at all times. So this is a very important one. It's not easy because there's no like rules regarding what to do and, and how to know when someone is creepy or seems dangerous. So it's just follow your gut feeling, follow your instinct, and when in danger, just keep on driving. All right, so tip number five, our last tip for today's video regarding female safety for Lyft and Uber. This is actually one that is gonna sound kind of weird, but it's important to take into consideration. So when someone leaves their phone behind, your first instinct might be, oh, they left their phone. So 98% of cases, that is gonna be the case, so that's what's really gonna happen, that someone just forgot their phone in the backseat or the co-pilot seat. But just to be completely safe, you know how phones have tracking systems like iPhones and Android phones, like Google Maps and whatnot. So just in case someone is trying to track you down and they had left the phone on purpose, you know, 
girls, this is all about your safety. So we're taking a lot of things into consideration to make sure that you can drive comfortably in your car and have no trouble. So going back to this case. So if you see a smartphone in the back seat of the co-pilot seat, just turn it off. That's it, just turn it off. And if the person most likely forgot their phone, they can then track it via the app. So it's not your business. You just Your duty is to just make sure that you are completely safe and that your other customers are completely safe. So just grab the smartphone, turn it off, and that's it. So this is all for today. This is the continuation of, um, I guess this is the second part of uh, the safety video that I did before for you female, fellow female Uber and Lyft drivers. So remember, safety comes first and just make sure that you feel comfortable so that your customers then feel comfortable because, you know, we're energy. So if you're feeling unwell, if you're feeling unsafe, customers are most likely going to pick up on that. So just relax, chill, because remember, everything is being tracked on the app. So you're going to be fine. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This is the Rideshare Hub. I am Natalia Bilbao. You can find me on Instagram, also on my website. Uh, this video was uh, directed towards females, but pretty much it's for everybody who wants to feel safe as an Uber or Lyft driver. Remember, the app keeps track of everything you do, so you're going to be fine. So just drive and relax. Let us know if you want any other videos, any recommendations on the comments below. Also, if you're not yet a Lyft and or Uber driver, you can become one and get a sign on bonus by clicking on the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful Lyft Uber ride sharing day. Bye.